Hey guys and welcome to a Tarkov video showing you all of the best spawns for Flash Drive. Now, because of Interchange there are so many PCs, I will be showing you a route, certain route that you can take inside of Interchange, but there are a few spawns on Customs and Woods that will also be quite helpful for you. So we are now in Customs between 3 story and 2 story. What we're going to want to do is actually head into 2 story. You do require a key for this, which is the Dawn's 110 key. If you'd like to see the key guide for this key, there is a icon up the top right hand corner or in the link in the description for the key guide. Now entering this room, it is actually a pretty decent key. You do have a safe inside of here and the flash drive does spawn on this desk. We're still on customs. We're currently at boiler side where you got the two giant smokestacks right here and the gun building right here or the crematorium. Where you have the two gun crates right there. You've got this little parking lot right here and there's this blue van and there's, there's actually two PCs in the back of this. I for some reason always find USB sticks especially last wipe and at the beginning of this wipe to help out my friend who I've been running this with. We have found multiple USB sticks here. And now we're onwards. So right here is the lumber mill that is the giant mountain with a sniper on it and we are down by the lake near the dock. What you want to do is run up to me, so you have the lake on your left hand side and you can see this little tent right here, just past this sniper rock on the left side here. Right at the opening of this tent where this croutons packet is, spawns the USB stick. Okay, so now we are in interchange. We are in the ultra at the Ollie side. We are actually at the very back of Ollie. So this is the main entrance down here. And if you look up the top left hand corner, you can see a mini map and that will move where I am going. So hopefully that will help you navigate. So the first thing we're going to do is, as you can see at the front, we're going to go straight to the back and go through the wall right here. We're going to turn right and then go through these double doors and then turn left through the very first door. Inside this room has got definitely a few inside of here, just dotted around at the desks. Now what we're going to do is turn right coming out of here, go through the next set of double doors and turn right at the end here. You've got two doors right here, this one here and that one up there. In both of these rooms are more offices with more C's. There. And so on. Next we are going to head up here. And check these out. You can do this route in one run, obviously it will be reversible. There will be times where I am running between T locations, so I will speed up the video for that moment. So, once again. So now what we're going to do is head out these doors at the back right here and head back of Ollie. So coming out the back of Ollie, there are these information desks that are dotted around with the eye icon right there and below them spawn these. In this one right here, you got that one and that one there. Continuing along, we are now traveling towards the front of Ollie right here. You can see another information booth right in front of us. It is a yeah, right there and one right here. You can see another one. There's a lot of PCs on interchange. This is definitely why it's one of the best maps to actually get USB sticks. If you don't get any, I would say that you are definitely an unlucky person or someone has beaten you through the PCs just before you get there. There is a lot of people running to get USB sticks, especially they do sit at 200k anyway on the flea market, let alone they no, actually needed them for a task. So now we've entered the back area of Ollie. There are a few more offices. There is a big entrance right here. Turn left into the door, through this door, and then through the final door that spawns open. You do have a PC over there, a PC right here, and a PC there. Now we're going to go back out, follow it straight through, and you've got a door open. PC right there, a PC spawn in here, 
This door is locked. It is needed for a task. Once you complete the task, there is a PC inside of there and the same again inside that room right there. So now we are out the front of Ollie. What we're going to do is continue, continue for following it on here. Turn left like you're now heading into the center of interchange. You want to turn right and then we want to go through those double doors at the back. And now coming through the double doors at the back, this door will spawn open. This is definitely one of the best rooms for PCs. There are a huge amount inside of this room. I can't, there's one right there. Two, three, four, five. Total of five inside of here. There's also this little room in here, I will just show you. In here is the Kiba key. Uh, the keeper alarm and the store alarms. Now what we're going to do is head out from. And now we're at the front of Goshen right here. What we need to do is actually head all the way over to the other side of Goshen. Okay, so arriving at the double doors, that area that we just passed through back there, you definitely want to be careful. There's a lot of scavs that spawn in that location and a lot of payers pass through there. So we are now in the next area. So you got PC, PC and over there. Another one right here. There's a little office at the back here. Spawns a PC just there. And there's a PC just there. Now what we're going to do is head to idea of course once again you do want to be careful of players especially this next section that we're going to be going down as it is quite a decently trafficked area as well as scavs as well to be honest if you, if you just start from that one right there and then make your way to ollie that's what i would kind of do personally but if you feel like pushing it out if you actually started over that side where i was then you might actually want to push all the way to idea like what i'm doing right now or just end right there then you can go down the escalators right there take you underground and go extra it but we are now coming up to the room right here there's this little office and inside this office you have got PC just there and you've got the cubicles back here there's another PC and finally another one just here. Hopefully you guys found this guide useful. If you have, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. I do stream over on twitch.tv slash piranha underscore seven days a week starting at 8am GMP. Also, don't forget to check out our spreadsheet, especially with the wipe coming up soon. On this spreadsheet, it does show you all of the gun builds, tasks, extracts, and keys in one location, and it will send you links directly to my YouTube videos. Guys, have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.